Here's Grace Remington checking in from Arlington, Texas. Grace, hope you're enjoying that day off. Lau is one of many in this organization that has always had faith when no others throughout baseball have. Reliever John Curtis, another one of those examples. The Texas native has been instrumental in helping the Rays play in his home city. Yeah, this World Series is a little bit more special for one Rays player. John Curtis grew up in the Dallas area. His high school is just 30 minutes north of this stadium. We were able to stop by their baseball practice today and talk to his former high school coach, who tells us John Curtis is no stranger to winning. Look over there where the state champions are listed. South Lake Carroll Senior High breeds success. Yeah. We were in the playoffs for 19 out of the 20 years. And Longtime Dragons baseball coach Larry Hughes retired in 2016. Four of his players have reached the bigs. One of the most memorable, the Rays' John Curtis. It's really a neat thing to see one of the kids that I, you know, coached and saw uh, right here on this field, Dragon Baseball Camp when he was a little guy. Curtis was team captain, winner of the Team Hustle Award, and District Pitcher of the Year as a senior in 2011. He was one of those players where everybody liked and respected him. His pro career didn't come as easy. Three MLB teams dropped Curtis before the Rays signed him in February. He earned his first major league win in August. Coach Hughes noticed his grind 10 years ago. His work ethic was just off the charts. Never had to tell him to go get his running in. When you see your kids out here, being able to tell them that you too can go to the World Series one day, do you think that's a source of inspiration and motivation for them? Yeah, I do. And they know who's made it and who hasn't. But your past players, it's a little more special to the ones now because they grew up here too. And uh, I definitely think that's a big inspiration to them to see that. John Curtis made his World Series debut in game one, coming in for the final batter of the eighth inning and striking him out. I wasn't able to talk to him for this story due to the MLB COVID protocols, but I did read in his bio, he grew up a Texas Rangers fan, so you gotta imagine this was a pretty cool experience for him. Yeah, Grace, good stuff there. Great story. A little inspiration for all the guys out in Texas.